Be secure. Okay. <laughs> hey there. So, uh, wow. Uh, that's actually too many openers. I think three openers is really the cap I want. Um... Maybe actually we kick Amnazica. I also have a Matahuri here. But let's just kick a Nausicaa. Not because openers are not great. They are great, but I just don't have that many. So, I mean, we we need like one or two. I, I prefer two. Defender can be purified, which removes the defender status even without killing it. I know that. Yeah, but thanks for clarifying it. But I was under the impression that the defender defends units. But it's actually defense cards. Other cards on this row. So it's not other units, but other cards. I guess it wasn't really a... <laughs> something to, to consider in the previous patch. We can go Magni. So Magni in the front. I like a Magni. I have one off Magni in the deck. It's it's uh, the best value generator in a way because it's unconditional other than the row, and uh, that's fine. Of course, he gets uh, shot down by a few things. On top of that, he gets shot down by spies just landing next to him, say saying what's up. Uh, so I got a poison. What if I lock this guy? Because it's only... His main advantage is that his death fish is ridiculous. But if you lock him... What death fish? We're gonna do that because... Although we're missing out the Nausicaa Sergeant value... He's probably gonna do this pretty soon. Also, he's getting fry value. Pagu time. Nice. Uh, that's a good poison target. Four drones on ally draw. We obviously want to poison Pago, but he might actually just consume it, and that could be just like a cycle of we poisoning Pago, then he's consuming it. But let's just commit with the minimum we can. Actually, the this defender uh, clarification really means that uh, although we have this defender, uh, Fion, Fion is one defender, but it means that, like for example, the scarabs are even better. So, for example, if you can just open the the round with scarabs and uh, artifact, then it's almost impossible for your opponent to kill your artifact. It's, it's the scenario, in a way, like, I should call it scenario. It will not be destroyed. It's, it's... It, it, well, I don't know how they would do it. They would need to, like, lacerate the scarabs. Maybe, like... But they're not gonna do that. And they're not gonna have enough stuff on the board. Like, uh, no realm can have, like, units on the board that can clean up stuff. But if you do the... The... Uh, the scenario early, they won't. I guess we're just poisoning that. On my 
This is pretty good. We used trash to be in round one. And I'm not sure about the Rod Tosser in this matchup. Uh, not a huge fan. I think we need to be a little bit more careful. These are nice. Uh, Kahir is a game changer. Roderick actually boosts both these Thirsty Dames. I, I don't think the Rod Tosser should be a... A card we really consider. Let's pass. Also, uh, keep in mind that Thirsty Dames go up by all statuses. So, that means bleed. That means lock. That means uh, poison. But, the tricky part is that, especially against No Ram, this is so brutal against No Ram. Shield, vitality. Uh, you guys might be able to think of others. Doomed, for example, is a status uh, that very rarely comes up. But yeah, I mean, Thirsty Dame is pretty good. Like she ranges from like, yeah, like a conditional value generator based on status to pretty damn good. If uh, your opponent is actually just getting some vitality going, maybe a bit of shield. We're probably not going to see this in the monster matchup. Basically, my setup is like a big Nord Ram hater here. With Kahir and uh, Thirsty Dames. Uh, I might just take a Rotasser here. Okay, Isabel of Hag. She is good, but at the same time, she might not be able to uh, see play. Uh, we're gonna pull Masquerade Ball from the deck. No. Okay, just give me something better. Okay, that's good. We have a pretty good hand. Here's a Death Shadow. How many provision is uh, Thirsty Dame? Uh, she's five. So you play her, then you need to, if you play status every single turn, then she becomes a 7 in 5 turns, which is, which is at, well, kind of like break, which is not that great, because you have value generators that generate one value a turn unconditionally, and she generates it conditionally, so because of that she would be considered subpar if, if you only rely on your statuses, although sometimes your spying is a status, for example. You can have that. You sure that's gonna work? I, I don't know. Why? But that sp spawns it for you. Oh, actually the premium looks pretty sweet. Okay. Uh, let's just play Fion. We need to establish Kahir on the board. Keep in mind that we... Okay, we have enough uh, aristocrats for the Masquerade Ball. I, I bloody love uh, Matahari. I don't even care if she's a low P. <laughs> What's the consensus of Matahari? I think she's like a 10. 10 looks. No, no, no. T totally balanced card, but 10 looks. Uh, sure. The card is totally balanced. Otherwise. What the hell is going on here? I don't I don't understand what he's doing. Anyone uh, care, cares to take a guess? It would be cool uh, neutral to use with vampires in monster. Nice belly. Yeah. Cool looking. Totally balanced. Totally balanced. Let's see. Let's see if he wants to consume anything. I should make a premium cut here. He's too good. Ooh. Let's go. <laughs> I 
<laughs> what if I start space? <laughs> Fucking god! You know, guys, what would be hilarious? He's gonna play. He's gonna play the one that boosts itself based on the units he has. We're gonna let it happen. It's gonna be pretty big. After that, he wants to play a consumer, but we're gonna not, not gonna let it happen. We're gonna play a Roderick <laughs> and block him. Holy shit! Let's do that. Let's just let's just act all innocent here. Let's play like a thirsty dame. I really hope he fucks it up. <laughs> He wants to fill his rows and then buff them with the Bone Talisman. But I, I, there is possible he wants to play the Beast too. He may have Yennefer also. Yeah, but is it gonna work out? Nice. You talk to my patience! There's no way to really punish him right now. Well... I, I can block all his rows. But the thing is, if I play Roderick, he's gonna be like, yeah, let time to consume now. So it, it doesn't really work. We can't really afford it. Where is Lambert when you need him? <laughs> oh man. I can't get him. Uh, let's just go with the Thirsty Dame again. I'm, I'm feeling very thirsty here. Nice. I want to see a beast from him. I want him to play one unit, and after that, we can block him for life. Please, play one unit. Please, just fucking do it. Play the beast. Just do it. You know you have to, like... Kahir is on the board, you're getting desperate. No! You fucked up! How could you fuck up? You have to play the beast, man. Okay, let's play the Masquerade Ball. What do we have here? Uh, okay. You tax my patience! <gasps> do you fucked it up? <laughs> oh my god! Game over, man! It's game over! Just get the fuck out of here, I'm nuked the sight of orbit, just the only way to be sure! Too many rats, man! GG!